Ladies and gentlemen, Medship Group, let's do this. Uh, how about that? Just saying, I, I did switch. You guys saw that today. Uh, we sold NVIDIA on Friday, and we bought AMD. You guys doubted me. Here's NVIDIA selling off. Here's our AMD. It's up. Uh, this is why we don't listen to Cody. Okay? Or technician. Just saying. Uh, just kidding. Uh, I thought it was cool that it, that it's up. We already have the... What did we sell on this? The 144s? Um, hang on. Now I need to check and see what we sold on it. Uh, let's, it should be the other yeah, 144s. It was, it was just kind of at the top of the zone. Your expected move was 143. It is a short week, so just to kind of go over that. Um, uh, again, I like AMD. It's got a good spot. But we might sell the 30 Deltas hmm, uh, every week uh, until we get a a confirmed, like, hey, we're rallying up. Like, right now, we, we kind of have it. Uh, but I want, like, when we actually turn this thing up a bit, you know, because we'll break above this 150 mark. At that point, we'll maybe, maybe we would hit this zone, 157. What if we just send it one day? Uh, it'll still, I think, pull back, make a higher low. At that point, the call we have sold might be underwater, so it might be rolling. might take a week or two before it pulls back. At that point, then we'll wait for the bounce, and we'll start stretching it and, and moving our uh, sold calls up. Uh, but for now, uh, you know, that is – uh, kind of the kind of the game plan for it right now. Um, anything else, Mara? We did sell the thirty threes on. Uh, so I was actually live with with Mike this morning in in his mentorship level. You know, so because Mike actually runs level two on on the Patreon, so he's live Monday. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, so he asked me to come live with him this morning to talk about TSLL. Uh, the leverage Tesla play uh, and options on that. And literally as we're in there talking about selling the, uh, the 33s, uh, you know, someone's in like, I got 45 bucks for it. I'm like, we're about to wrap this up. And I want to, I want to do that. So uh, we collected a little bit less on that, but nonetheless hit that zone, sold the 33s on it. Uh, well, that's, that's kind of that as far as uh, housekeeping goes. Uh, so jumping into the U.S. dollar, U.S. dollar down as far as the U.S. dollar, Japanese yen sideways, British pound, U.S. dollar. This is going to start really, really slowing down. I am long this. It, it gapped up and we're kind of right back down, which is annoying. Uh, and then U.S. CAD short this. I should not have tagged out. Never mind. There's no way I didn't tag out on that. Cody, why didn't you tell me about this? What is going on with something must have happened with oil? Uh, wow. Uh, so let's check out oil. Oil will will move the uh, the Canadian market right there. Uh, so, huh? Man, the uh, the Canadian dollar. Let's bring that back up. Do I need to switch gears on this? Do I need to go short? I don't know if I want to go short this right now or or hang tight. Uh, I'm going to leave this one alone for now. If anyone was long that, that's awesome. Congrats. Yeah, this is US CAD. And the, in the last hour, uh, I thought I was still this. I must have missed my notification because I had my stop in place, which for sure took it out. So welcome to Forex. This is what happens. <laughs> uh, wild. All right. Bitcoin. Uh, so we talked about Bitcoin last night. Kind of chill. Kind of hanging out in this overall trend up, which is laughable. Uh, but we did what we did do. More importantly, we went right to that yellow box. Dropped all the way down to that yellow box. That is look, looks like where we're bouncing right now. Uh, as far as can we draw a zone up here, I do want to draw a speed bump zone right here at this level. I want to keep an eye out there for any sell orders. It does look like something's going on right inside this level, which is kind of wide for Bitcoin right now. Uh, let's, let's see if we can fine-tune that just a little bit. I don't know. No. Um, 
man. Uh, I tell you what, I, I'm going to leave this here now for now. What's that put us at? 98, 96. Okay. Plenty of sell orders came in to actually drop this thing down, but that actually might be a decent dip buy for now. Uh, gosh, that would really suck if Bitcoin went to ninety nine thousand eight hundred something dollars. It doesn't actually tag one hundred thousand. Oh man, how annoying is that going to be? What's that going to do to meme coins? Hang on, let's just what did the meme coin bonanza do today? Let's go Coinbase. Doge actually holding up pretty. Let's get that annoying line out of the way. Hang on, we need the line gone. I swear, if that happens again, I'm going to lose my mind. Why am I clicking this red line and the yellow box goes away? Uh, okay, so we started to break up, pulled back, kind of bounced, and if, if there was a, a dip buy, that would be on Doge. What would Pepe do? Ooh, kind of at the bottom. Uh, so we bounced there. We need to get rid of these lines. Bounced up there, hit the blue zone, came back down. Hold, so far, holding the uh, the yellow zone. It's not bad. I haven't even checked XRP today, so I don't know if I'm up or down. Okay, so that's just holding on, holding on tight. XRP still a kind of has that bull, uh, well, bull pennant situation going on. Um, uh, I, I will say this: I'm not trying to pump XRP. You guys know that I just bought it. Uh, if you're thinking like you wanted to get in it or something like that, I'm just saying now, no matter where it goes. Not a bad trade as it sits, uh, just looking at the overall pennant. So we have lower highs, but also some some higher lows. So it looks like we're probably about to make that decision. So if you want to dabble in it, wait for it to break up. As far as setups go, that, that one's actually not, not bad. I, I really don't know where this one's going to go. You know, we do have highs previously on, on the chart, but again, that, that was a whole different phase back then you know it, it's already gone through this is a scam and taken off markets we cleared that up it's back on markets now uh so i don't know if i would put a lot of weight on the previous highs of xrp um, but if you're thinking you want to tag along or have any fomo you could either a take an l with me right now uh or b it goes up and we win you saw diddy coin went up 500 <laughs> percent someone's got to buy them right uh, the apes are rotating out of Bitcoin to buy Ethereum and altcoins. Uh, what's Ethereum doing real quick? I thought that was just sideways. Yeah, because my account doesn't do anything with Ethereum. I mean, I buy it every week, but it, like nothing's nothing's going on with this thing. They're probably on a much smaller time frame than I am. I've been buying this for, well, years now. I would watch out for a rejection at this level. Okay, uh, Justin Sun, blockchain founder, invested <clears throat> invested thirty million in world world liberty financial crypto. Interesting. Need to take a need to make a Nas Daddy coin. <laughs> if I could find a way to make a coin and it like be profitable, I know I can make a coin, pump it, and rug pull you guys. We've seen how easy that is, uh, <laughs> but. There's no need. If there was a functional case for a a coin, uh, I would do it. But I, I think they all they any any coin I would make probably it already exists, you know. Um, but Nas Daddy, man, Nas Daddy coin, <laughs> just that sounds like it needs to happen. Hashtag Nas Daddy to the moon. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Um, okay. Any other, we've broken down a lot of cryptos and, and guys, if you're in the chat and I am speaking to my, my mentorship chat, all of you guys right now, um, you, you don't have to DM me if you're in an altcoin. I, I, I know I've made fun, but, but for, for real, I, I would rather you just call it out and we talk about it than, than try to DM me. Cause I get, I still get a ton of direct messages. So it's hard for me to, to keep up. Uh, cause I'm trying to think, luckily none of you guys are in Pepe coin. Um, uh, I, I, if you are, you can come out. I'm not gonna make fun of you. Um, but at least tell me what you're in, uh, and, and why I, I need to know the play, but, but call it out in, in the chat. We're not gonna, not gonna make fun. 
All right, moving on to the S&P. Uh, so yesterday we had that gap up. Today we, well, no, we, we're selling off. That's annoying. Looks like I'll be invoicing Cody. Uh, okay, so we hit that zone. We'd sold off. Uh, you saw in the chat, uh, well, I'm no longer long it now. Um, I am in spy calls. I went long ES. That did tag out. Um, but at the open right now, we're, we're selling off. We need this thing to to go to the moon. We need to get above this zone right here. I just dumped 20 minutes. Hmm. I wonder what's going on with this. We don't have any news. I wonder what's going on with futures right now. Uh, like I said, I thought earlier this was the dip buy. It panned out great, but I am in a in a swing trade. Uh, the calls you saw Cody and I get were the 600 spy calls for December 31st. Uh, at that point, I also bought AMD for just so the Friday is a December 27th, but SPY has daily expiration, so it goes to December 31st. Uh, so the options I bought today were SPY and AMD. The retail week, yeah, maybe retail needs to buy this up, need to get rolling. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we actually break and where we go with that. Uh, as far as the expected move, we kind of we almost got to the that one standard deviation, but then then came back down. It'd be interesting to see where this uh where this ends at. Uh, obviously the the calls we have plenty of time. We, I'm I'm saying we, but I mean I wouldn't buy December 31st if I was going to manage it the next day. Uh, so that's two time in, you know, some ups and some downs. Uh, however, I will make more than Cody because I actually sold the 603 call for tomorrow against it. He laughed, but I'm better than him. Um. Uh, and for anybody that is not watching the chat all day, <laughs> uh, that's just Cody and I going back and forth. Yeah, I did. So uh, I haven't done it before, but you guys know what a poor man's covered call is. You you buy a call and then you sell calls against it. So I bought the 600 strike call for December 31st. And you want to sell above 600. Uh, you know, essentially, you're, you're it's a calendar spread is what you're doing. But I ended up selling the 603 for, for $9. It was above the expected move. Uh, it expires tomorrow, which which right now, uh, if, if we rock that thing to 100% zero, I still made more than Cody. He lost $9 more than me. Oh, never mind. He did sell one. Um, but uh, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. The idea was, so poor man's covered call, maybe you, you buy like a, maybe an 80 delta, 70 delta, you buy a leap, you sell calls against it, ties up a little less capital than buying 100 shares or something. And you could sell like weeklies against it. Uh, some people sell monthlies. SPY has the dailies and there's, there's a lot of theta involved in there. So my idea was, I wonder how many I could sell daily expirations you know, like tomorrow morning, that'll be down. I'll lock it in. Hopefully, SPY pumps. I sell another one for the the following day. Uh, and kind of see. It's something I've never done. Uh, I don't know if you would follow suit on this just yet. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but, you know, as usual, I'll, I'll keep posting it in the chat, and you guys will, will see all that. Uh, as far as the NASDAQ, this is the only reason why I didn't go long in Q last night. We talked about this last night was we gapped right to this line. And a break and a close above or below these red lines tells you which way we're likely going to head. And we got above, ended up closing below. We had a whole indecisive day. Technically, we gapped up a little bit and we're selling off. So we're trying our hardest to get above this level. It looks like whatever banks out there, uh, somebody has an algo turned on to sell those uh contracts above that 20,900. That's a lot of daily $9. It it is. Um and to Cody's point was so I bought that call and instantly sold the other one. I didn't wait for a green candle. It could be played much better. Um but anyway, as far as the Nasdaq goes, I will go long in Q inside this yellow zone, but it probably needs to get there first. Uh, and we're selling off after hours. This needs to chill. Why are the markets doing this? We didn't have, just, can someone check me real quick? There's nothing that came out, right? Uh, shift from NVIDIA to this stock. 
from a Trump trade. What is this? This better say AMD. Please click here to compare NVIDIA and micro. Are they com are they saying they're rotating out of NVIDIA? Traders have shifted from NVIDIA being their favorite stock to MicroStrategy. Oh, wow. Um, oh, that's wild. That, so, ladies, <laughs> Lori, Lisa, I know you guys have been in this for a while. Uh, I would say things are probably about to get even dicier. I mean, you guys have been around long enough to know that when everybody piles in, it's it's chaos. And it's also like fish in a barrel. Uh, that's usually about the time before it implodes. Get these covered calls back to reality. <laughs> it probably will. Well, When there's that much attention, it's going to be hard to avoid it. And just like the old saying, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And it looks like, looks like that's what's going on. Let's just check out MicroStrategy real quick. Man, even though I said all that, you got to be you got to be cautious giving me some FOMO. Uh I still want to wait for a better dip. If it could get down to 350, I think I'm 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 sold on it. Uh my allocation will be will be light, you know. If you're playing with dynamite, that's what you have to go about it. That's just FOMO taking over a bit late. <laughs> Uh, as far as everyone else jumping in, yeah, selling NVIDIA to get into MicroStrategy, whoever is doing that is literally just living the, the, the poster child for FOMO. Uh, and that's quickly how you just get destroyed. Uh, I mean, that'll just take one slip. Bitcoin pulls back to 80,000. Bitcoin pulling back to 80,000. Someone's going to lose their mind. It's, it's a nothing pullback for Bitcoin. They'll lose their minds. And if MicroStrategy, if they were in MicroStrategy for that and sells with it, nothing brings on a red candle like the previous red candle. And if you don't have that priced in when you're, you're in this, I'm not saying get out of MicroStrategy, but at least know what you're getting into. You know, That would be like being in a trade and not knowing earnings was that day. You, know, you might be very just over allocated. By light, do you mean fifty percent of your net worth? <laughs> if it gets to three fifty, I will have about that. Uh, no, no, I will, <laughs> I will not have that much in there. Uh, but I, I will have some. It'll be enough to move the needle. I'll put it that way. Uh, as far as the, it looks like everything today, Dow held up a little bit better as far as the indecisive day, but everything right now is selling off. Can you guys do me a huge solid? Uh, and look this up. Why are futures selling off right now? I know it's a holiday week and it's probably a lot less volume, but I feel like something's driving this to be moving this much. Even the Russell's all the way down. Russell's hitting the zone right now, which wouldn't be a bad dip buy to, to go bullish. Removing risk for the macroeconomic letters later this week. The letters news. Uh, what do we have? PMI, PCI. Um, hang on. What is it? FOMC, FOMC is tomorrow. That's what it is. So if FOMC minutes tomorrow, yeah, maybe they're just removing risk uh, for that. Wednesday pre-market, we should have PCE. There it is. Uh, I mean, we have some some fireworks tomorrow. I feel like they would have done that during the day, though. The S&P has a lot of green stocks. A lot, yeah. Bitcoin, did you see it hit one of your zones? Yeah. Yeah. Right now, Bitcoin is bouncing off that zone. Retail weak manipulation. Hopefully, they need to send it. Uh, okay. Jumping into the call outs. AXP. 